dear viewers welcome back to cybrosis so today i'll be teaching you how to create an event inside the events module but then let's go to the events here is the events and inside the events once you open itself you can see the events area where you can create a new one or even you have a menu which will also be taking you back to the same page so i'm going to create a new one here is the event creation area so you can specify the name of the event i'm giving it as a music concert okay so this is the event which i have created now you can set the date okay obviously uh, there's there'll be a date right so on the date which the event is starting and ending so in case of any exhibition and all it will be like exhibition which is you know uh, lasting for a week and all okay not lasting i mean you know it which is taking place for a week and all okay so here is a music concert and my concert will be for two days. So it will be on September 5th to 10th. Okay, so that's the date I'm choosing. Okay, so that's done. I've given the date, okay. So from 6th to 10th, the event will be uh, taking place. And here comes the time zone. So you can choose the time zone for the event. Okay, wherever it is taking place based on the location, the time zone can be chosen from here. Okay, next comes the language. So all the communication emails sent to the attendees will be translated in this language. Okay, so the communication mails which are going to be sent, all the communication which is taking place will be translated to the language which we choose here. So I am choosing English. Okay, English I'm choosing as the language. Here comes the template. So what is this template? Now in case of quotations and all, you might have seen this quotation template. Similarly in events also, we have this event template. So nothing but we are pre-building something which we can use here while creating a new event. Okay, so I'm, I'll show you how a template added event will look like. But right now I'm not adding any template. So I'll add one tag which is music. Okay, so this tag can be created from the configuration. Here you have even tags, categories. So I'll just save and show it to you guys. So here is the event tag categories. From here, the tag category as well as the tags can be created. So simply click on you, name the category and then here you can add the tags. So if you just click on this activity, you have this much tags. This is the category. These are the tags. So adding a line will enable you to create a new tag. Okay, so I'm going back to the events. So where is my music concert? Here it is. I'm opening it. Okay, so we've only filled up with this much data. Next, you have organizer. Okay, so the organizer will by default be taken as the person who's logged in. Okay, so the responsible person can be given the company as well as the venue. Okay, so the company address will be taken as the venue over here. You can change it from here. Okay, and here comes limit registration. So if it's an event uh, of, you know, you are planning a size of 10 people or 100 people or even 1000 people, you can limit the registration. Only these much people can register. Okay. So for that, what you have to do, you can check the checkbox. If no limit is there, means you can, you know, leave it as such. Or in case of having a registration limit, you can check it and give the count. So I'm giving it as 10. Okay, next comes the badge dimension. So you will obviously be, be getting a badge, right? So you can choose the dimension, whether it's a 4 per sheet, A4, six, um, um, A6 or A4 foldable, whatever the format or dimension is that can be chosen. So let it be A4 foldable and the badge background, that is you can upload a file from your system. So for your event, if you're designing some logos and all that can be uploaded from here and that will be set as a background for the you know badge okay so right now i didn't upload anything so you can upload it easily from your system just by clicking on upload your file here comes the ticket so where you've already set up you know attendee limit right so from here you can create tickets for your concert or the event okay so the name of the thing is registration for music concert because that is the name of my you know uh, event so the product will be event registration now you know we can create event tickets as products from the products menu 
okay so such a product is here and the price is also set so rather than using this you can create a new one okay you can either use this or you can create a new product inside the product so i'll simply go to the internal link and show you guys this is the product which we are using right now if you want to create a new one means click on new make sure that the product type is invent ticket and then you can set the sales price based on your requirement okay so here you can start the sales date okay when the sales will start so i'm putting it as 7th apply and the sales ending date so ending i'm giving it as 31st and apply okay so the sales start as well as sales ending date is given here and the maximum okay the maximum uh, link i mean count i'm giving it as 10 okay so the taken ones can be seen from here so whenever people take tickets that count will be updated here and then you can change the color of the ticket so i'm setting a color let it be something like this okay selecting the color and the color will be chosen there so this is how you can create a ticket so the maximum count can be taken from here okay and here comes the communication so what is this communication once a person register for the event as soon as the registration is complete a registration confirmation mail will go one hour before the event a reminder mail will go and three days before the event a reminder mail will go so that's the communication area next we have notes so this is the note now this note is basically used as internal notes like adding content contact information or even to-do list next we have how to get your event or door closing time so all such data can be given here as the ticket instruction and what happens is that whatever you give here will be printed on your ticket okay so that's how the notes can be added so that's done and i'm saving it this is right now in new state this is the registration desk the attendees count the registration desk is given here the booths are given here okay so no booths are there okay if you want to create a new one and all click on that and just go to new i'll create um music booth one which is for the category premium so this booth category can be created from the configuration booth categories okay so premium booth i'm creating so the renter name can be added from here okay so renter name renter email and renter phone can be added here okay renter of the booth okay so let's go back to the booths there music booth one is created okay and renter you can choose any one from here okay so this is an available one going back to music concert so you can see one booth is there registration desk click on that so from here you can select an attendee okay so no attendees yet so for the time being no one has been attended okay this is the registration so from here you can see the registry i mean the people who are registered the registration statistics and all can be seen from here okay so that's it and i'm going to music concert once again and here comes the attendees so all these smart apps are there once the registration starts attending starts all the count will be changed now here is the registration desk okay so it's same as the registration which is given here you can actually click and change the status okay this is new if it's booked one means it is if it's completely booked means you can go to booked once it's announced ended or cancelled that can be marked over here okay so yeah that's it so this is basically how you can create an event inside the events module. So I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.